Welcome to the National Real Estate Cafe, where you can get your daily dose of real estate market updates, and you should get them, and you should look back at our history by going to nrecafe.com. There's a lot of videos on a YouTube video now, hundreds. Now we're going to donandgino.com. There's almost a thousand now. I just checked it, over 23,000 views. It's rocking on donandgino.com where we interview some of the best professionals across the nation. Got to check it out. Well, that doesn't happen by mistake. We've been doing that show for five years and we've been doing this one for a little over a year now, giving you the best information we can and let's dive in. All right, so this first slide is going to be a little regurgitation because we keep saying, what are you waiting for? If you're thinking about buying a home, why wait? Well, you know what the good news is, is that people aren't waiting, Don, and that's why we've been complaining that we have to work 26-hour days. Wait, that's not possible? We find a way, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, we're squeezing our eyes open with yes. toothpicks. Well, we just ordered the extra two hours on eBay. <laughs> we're outbidding you. <laughs> uh, uh, Rockstar, we bought stock in that. No doubt, okay. <laughs> so, let's look at this first slide. Here's why you need, and we have beat this drum over and over and over to where now it doesn't make any more noise except we do. but. Prices will continue to rise, and if you look at this, they even rose more than all the predictions. The predictions were right around 4.75. We thought they'd be above five. They actually hit above 6% 6, 6 at 6.3%, and they're expecting above 5% next year, and I believe that is gonna happen. Yeah, and you're talking about, this was an unusually cold winter on the West Coast. Uh, you're talking about a, oh God, how am I gonna say this? We noticed a tendency for people to stop working a little bit, maybe a little bit of laziness, like maybe the best money in their pocket they've had for almost a decade. So yeah. they were like, oh, I'll just take it easy. I'm talking about entrepreneurs, not employees and things like that. But we noticed quite a few people took it easy over the holidays. Yeah, so now it's kicking in gear. With the rates going down, the market is hot. So let's talk about the second one. Go back to that slide, Furman. Oh, number two, mortgage rates are projected in. Pro yeah, projected to increase. Yeah, right. I've heard that before. We heard that Don. all last yeah. year, right? Yeah. Yeah, you even heard it from us. Hey, everybody and said it, right? Mortgage Banker Association, Freddie Mac, National Association of Realtors, Fannie Mae, every smart man on the planet said it, but no one saw the potential collapse of China. There you go. Because we were looking at, most of us were looking at regarding interest rates here in the U.S. that, A, hey, the U.S. economy is improving steadily. Jobs definitely were improving. I was just going to say full employment. That yeah. is a big, big thing to so, do. So, of course, shouldn't interest rates go up? Well, we're a global economy now and China's really slowed down. I think it's slowed down even more than they're saying it is. Sure. So, it's affecting the global economy. It's affecting all of Europe. And therefore, we're now looking like the best bet in town, so people are buying our bonds, which keep interest rates down. There Good for you. one X factor that can bring it back up, and we've just seen the first hint of it. Now, we don't know if it's a trend yet, but the first hint of inflation has hit the market. If inflation is hot, we will have to raise interest rates. Well, we know there's inflation on home prices, that's for sure, and Ooh. that's why you need to take action now. All right, next slide. Yeah. I'm going to let you talk about this. this. is your favorite one. Either way, you're paying a mortgage. You're always paying a mortgage. So what happens as rents continue to rise, us landlords have purchased a property for a fixed mortgage amount. And rents continue to rise over the years. And I thank all my tenants for paying that mortgage. And effectively, not only do I make a profit above and beyond the mortgage and its expenses, but it pays for itself. It pays for free. So I get a mortgage for free paid by my tenants. So you're always paying a mortgage, it might as well be yours. There you go. And we're not even talking about the tax advantages. There is huge tax advantage in most cases. You can write it off the property taxes and the insurance. So your net payment, we can show you in a very good mortgage coach chart. It's amazing. You're going to look at it and go, why am I paying rent? It's, it's a no-brainer. You're going to see that your net payment's actually lower than your actual payment and lower than what your and rent would be. if you're saying, I can't afford a single family re residence, do what I did. Buy a three unit property, rent the other two, live in one, subsidize your mortgage. There's all Works kinds of options of when you look with real professional, real professional real estate agents and uh, lenders. They'll, they'll help you through this. All right, last one here. Go back to the slide. <sighs> isn't, isn't it time to move on in your life? Is now the time for home ownership? You've been renting all this time maybe, have no control over what your house looks like, if you, you have a garden, if you have a, a garage. What color Johnny's room's gonna be? I hey, had to do Hey, Johnny! It. Haven't heard from Johnny in a little bit. <laughs> or if Johnny and Mikey have to have the same room instead of their own, now's the time to take action. Trust me, it's gonna be one of the best best investments you'll ever have. Susie's feeling pretty neglected right now. <laughs> Anyways, the, uh, the other thing to take into consideration is an intangible. It's what it feels like to own a home. It's what it feels like to be sitting in your couch in your living room. It's just different, and it's intangible, and until you own your own home, 
I can't tell you how it feels, but it feels pretty darn good. Well, you'll be feeling good if you pay attention to the National Real Estate Cafe daily and you get these sent right to your phone. No spam, no sales, no nothing. Just our quick little videos on what's really happening in the markets today by texting NREC to the number 58885. See you tomorrow.